Okay, so I have been getting a flood of questions about how to talk about this PA name change in the personal statement. So that is what we are going to be addressing in today's video. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So um, if you have not heard, uh, the PA name has changed. Uh, we're still PAs, obviously, but we are now, the PA stands for Physician Associates, okay? So that there has been like a ton of like hoopla. <laughs> There's been a ton of like chatter and stuff about this name change and what that means and you know who likes it and who doesn't like it and I asked you guys' opinion on it so if you haven't seen that new video go check that video out um, talking about the physician assistant name change to physician associate but with that being said there have been also a lot of concerns and questions about how do I address that in my personal statement especially for those of you that are applying this cycle and so that is what I wanted to talk about in today's video specifically there was a question asked by Maya and she said hey Adana should we address this name change on our personal statement when applying to PA school now obviously um I don't feel like you should absolutely go out and be like you know and I love the fact that we are now physician associates um because there has there still has to be a lot that goes into it there's a lot of work that needs to be done with respect to marketing um and going across the board for all of the PA schools that have physician assistant in their name um there's gonna have to be this this big 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 promotional change there's going to be a lot of like pr going out and so no i don't think that you should take it upon yourself to be talking about the physician associate profession okay um the the pa profession has done a lot in the past few years to ensure that we are going by pas um and i just want to kind of show you guys that as well because if you go to aapa um i'm gonna have it up on the screen for you guys all of the vernacular that's being used, it says PA. Uh, you will be hard pressed to find physician assistant in any of the literature that is on a PA's website. Um, it says, what is a PA? Not what is a physician assistant or what is a physician associate? It says, become a PA, find your PA job. And so a lot of what is being promoted is the the two letters PA um, synonymous with our profession uh, but very easily translated to now physician associate from physician assistant so to address it in your personal statement I think the best thing that you should do is just use the two letters you use use the acronym use PA and I think that would be your safest bet Obviously, again, just little old me, Adana, on YouTube that you've subscribed to, and I, this is just my opinion. I am a PA, but this is my opinion on the matter. Um, if it was me, I would absolutely go ahead and just be like, hey, you know, I want to be a PA. I love being um, a pre-PA student right now, learning about XYZ. I've always wanted to be a PA and go that route because that will be the safest thing for me to do. Um, and hey, APA are like one of our governing bodies is using it in their their actual um, literature. So that is like the best thing, I think the safest thing you can do. Obviously when in doubt, call the program that you're applying to. Call the programs that you're applying to and see if they have a preference, see if they care. Um, you know, that will be kind of putting yourself out there, starting a conversation with these um, ad admissions counselors and admissions advisors. And, you know, it shows that you are aware of what's going on in the current scope of PA land and PA world. And so, if they ask you about it, obviously when you get your interview, just be prepared to have an answer ready to, to give them. Um, just know about what the PA uh, stands for now and, and what this physician associate new name change might mean for the profession in the future and have your own opinion on it. But when it comes to your personal statement, I suggest that you all absolutely just stick to PA in your, any of your writing for when you're writing your personal statement and referring to the profession and then obviously if you really really are still concerned go directly to the source call the schools and see if they have a preference 
Thank you, Maya, and everybody else that has been asking me this question. I've gotten it in my DMs on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. I've gotten it in the comment section here on my channel, um, gotten it in emails, and so this is my answer uh, to the question. If you guys have any other questions for me, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Donna Fia and on Instagram at Get That C University. And check us out on GetThatCUniversity.com because we have a lot to offer you guys there as well. Man, my voice got really high there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!